My name is Tom Croft, former Leicester Tigers and England rugby player, and I'm now a land manager for Davidson's Homes. Today I'm wearing a Greenwich tailored shirt. So when I retired, I will quite openly admit I had no idea what I was going to do. For the first three months, I accepted every shoot invite I could and, uh, and shot for three months. Season then ended and uh, I had nothing to do. A little bit of panic set in. I hadn't prepared. I'd spent majority of my playing career in Toys R Us with Ben Young's buying scale electrics and ping pong tables. So there was no pre-planning, but I always knew I wanted to go into a completely different career and step away from rugby, learn something brand new. Obviously moving from one extreme to another can be pretty tough, but I've been very fortunate. I've been taken in by a very understanding firm, privately owned by the Wilson family still. They've understood what they've employed. Learning to be a little bit more grown up has been probably one of the biggest things. You know, flicking people in the nuts isn't necessarily accepted in the office environment, whereas in rugby it's sort of uh, encouraged. So uh, yeah, it's a, it's a different world completely. So my day-to-day -day work is based in, in it's the land role. It's, it's the sort of the starting point of the chain for a house builder is identifying the land whether that's looking on maps and approaching uh, landowners, farmers, whoever's, you know, whoever's in charge, and will be in charge of tendering for that land, looking into the detail, into the legal side, into the planning consents. I got to know about Shofal. Um, also, I've been aware of Shofal as a brand for many, many, many years. Not through the skiing side, because I was never allowed to ski when I was playing, but I was always aware that it was a shooting brand. And I must admit, when I was playing, it was who I could get in touch with, and they might send me a jacket or a pair of briggs or whatever. The chauffeur never did that to me, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll move on from that. I think it was probably more so when I stepped away from rugby and started to learn about the actual technical side of what outdoor clothing is and what it's meant to do and what the benefits can be and that's why I sort of started to have some sort of affinity with Showfall in terms of understanding the quality that goes into it and it's not just get a green bit of material, it's slightly waterproof, make it into a jacket and off you go. There's a huge amount of detail that goes in behind it. Very much like, again, back to playing rugby, you made sure your boots were fit for purpose, your protection was fit for purpose and it's the same when you can go shooting, you want the kit that actually does what it's going to do and you're not going to have to go and buy again. If I'm working from home, I'll tend to be in shorts, t-shirts and flip-flops, but uh, there's definitely a place for, for having my shirts. The, the biggest part of my job is how you come across. When sites are currently in build, we're there for meetings on site as and when needed, normally to make sure that things are going to plan. I love speaking to people, you know, rugby was very social and that's why I think one of the, the traits, the crossovers is from being a former player to where I am now is I get to speak to a lot of people. Uh, I enjoy that, but it's also first impressions and, you know, looking smart, although I, you know, I don't like wearing ties and jackets and suits, uh, chinos and, and smart shirt does, you know, does tick a lot of boxes for myself, uh, but I've got to feel comfortable. I like a shirt that fits well. The majority of shirts I used to wear were you'd have a, a larger neck size, but you'd end up looking like a, a kite or a sail because the body wouldn't be tailored. So the Shofal shirts, which I've now been wearing for the last couple of years, are tailored fit, which just, just makes you feel better about yourself. You feel more confident going into a room and they, they last. On a good day, or if you had a bad day, normally on a Friday, we'd normally end up in the pub. One of the benefits of retirement is the fact that you can drink not in an alcoholic way, but you can have a drink on a Friday and enjoy your weekend and uh, spend time with friends and family. So that's, uh, yeah, that's definitely a positive. <laughs>